I'm David Tillman, author of NootropicsExpert.com, and in this video I'm going to share with you what I know about hacking motivation with nootropics. What they are, why we use them, and the science behind them. Are you stuck in a career that doesn't inspire you? Or a relationship that doesn't excite you? Or a lifestyle that doesn't fulfill you? Of the many excuses and issues for this complacency, one problem that surfaces the most is a lack of motivation. And to make matters even worse, a lack of motivation to change things could make your life better and often end up making you feel guilty and depressed. And if left unchecked, a slow but steady spiral into long-term guilt, poor self-esteem, and ongoing depression. So what can you do to boost motivation? And where does this energy come from? That's what we're going to explore in this video. We each have a limited amount of time on this planet and no matter what stage you are in life, realize that this body will not live forever. It's time to take back control and learn how to change things that you can change to create the life that you want to live. And this is where nootropics may be able to step in and provide the brain food you need to steer you on a new path toward the things that you want to achieve. Researchers have long known that the neurotransmitter dopamine is involved in pleasure and reward. More dopamine in your brain results in feelings of greater pleasure, and the presence of dopamine in your brain pushes you to seek this reward of pleasure. But researchers have recently discovered that dopamine also regulates motivation. Dopamine provides the initiative and perseverance needed to go after what it is that's important to you. In 2012, a team at a university in Castellon changed the thinking and prevailing theory on dopamine. Merce Carré said it was believed that dopamine regulated pleasure and reward that we release it when we obtain something that satisfies us. But in fact, the latest scientific evidence shows that this neurotransmitter acts before that. It actually encourages us, us to act. In other words, dopamine is released in order to achieve something good or to avoid something evil. Dopamine levels vary by individual, and some people are more persistent than others when going after goals, which you've likely noticed in people around you when it comes to athletics and school and work. Those with higher dopamine levels get more done. Now, dopamine helps you maintain the level of activity needed for you for what you intend whether it's a positive or negative, depending on what you're after. The goal to be good, a good student, or to abuse drugs. Now, high levels of motivation could also explain the behavior of uh, uh, sensation seekers because they are motivated to act. You see this in extreme sports or wildly successful musical performances. Correa went on to say, depressed people do not feel like doing anything, and that's because of low dopamine levels. The lack of energy and motivation is also related to several devastating health problems, often associated with mental fatigue and diseases like Parkinson's, multiple sclerosis, and fibromyalgia. Another study by a team at Vanderbilt University used a PET scan to map the brains of go-getters and slackers and they found that those willing to work for rewards had higher levels of dopamine in two areas of the brain known to be involved in motivation reward. On the other hand, slackers had higher dopamine levels in an area of the brain called the anterior insula. This area is involved in emotion and risk perception. This last observation came as a complete surprise to researchers because more dopamine in the insula is associated with a reduced desire to work, even if it means earning less money. It turns out that dopamine is not the only neurotransmitter involved in motivation. In 2014, researchers discovered that glutamate neurons in a specific region of your brain, called the dorsal raphe nucleus, activate dopamine neurons in the dopamine reward pathway. Glutamate receptors are associated with neural communications and memory formation and learning. When glutamate AMPA receptors in the area of the brain are stimulated, it ends up activating 
the dopamine reward system. The researchers followed this pathway all the way through using special tracers and labeling compounds. And the reward or motivation pathway starts with stimulating the glutamate AMPA receptors that connect to dopamine neurons, which in turn follows the pathway to the nucleus accumbens, the brain structure that is linked to motivation, pleasure, and reward. Common wisdom in nootropic circles, so far, advise us to boost dopamine to hack motivation. Now, it is true that as dopamine levels rise in the nucleus accumbens, which is the reward pathway, motivation, pleasure, and reward are all affected. But the same common wisdom would have you believe that if you boost overall dopamine levels in your brain, you'll increase motivation. And it's just not true. In fact, if you increase dopamine levels too much, excess dopamine converts to norepinephrine. You get irritable and you can't sleep. Now this missing link in the dopamine to reward to motivation pathway are glutamate AMPA receptors. So rather than boosting overall dopamine levels and hoping for the best, we need to encourage the stimulation of glutamate AMPA receptors to in turn fire up dopamine neurons and send dopamine on its way to the nucleus accumbens. We know that dopamine is critical to motivation. And in the lab, researchers have demonstrated that without enough dopamine, rats starve themselves to death, despite having access to food. But in our world, it's doubtful that you have problems with motivation to eat or to drag yourself out of bed in the morning. So dopamine levels are likely not an issue. But what about changing course in an unfulfilling career or getting started on that book you want to write? or plowing through boring and tedious work that's just part of the job. To successfully tweak and boost motivation, you need to address the efficiency of the dopamine motivation pathway. And this is where many racetam nootropics come to the rescue. Here's a brief list of the most potent nootropics that we've discovered so far that will boost motivation. These are supplements that can influence your glutamate AMPA receptors and modulate the effectiveness of the main neurotransmitters that affect the motivation pathway in your brain. Aniracetam. This member of the racetam family of nootropics is very well known for helping anxiety and depression. And it's one of my favorites. This fat-soluble ampicine nootropic affects acetylcholine levels in the brain. It activates D2 and D3 dopamine receptors and aniracetam modulates AMPA receptors, leading to better cognition, memory, and motivation. Iodine. This essential trace element combines with tyrosine to form thi the thyroid hormones T4 and T3. Thyroid hormones affect every cell in your brain and body. Within your brain, T4 is converted to T3 by selenium, which then affects gene expression, controlling metabolism within cells, and activates dopamine, norepinephrine, and epinephrine. Now, it's highly unlikely that you'll see iodine on any nootropic list to boost motivation. But a malfunctioning thyroid, which is often caused by not enough iodine, results in poor cognition, difficulty learning, problems with recall, depression, anxiety, and certainly a lack of motivation. Nefiracetam. This fat-soluble racetam nootropic is structurally similar, similar to aniracetam. Nefiracetam increases the amount of time calcium channels and neurons remain open, enhancing signaling in the pathway critical for long-term potentiation and forming long-term memories. Nefiracetam also potentiates protein kinase C-alpha, or PKCA, which is involved in long-term potentiation. PKCA is dependent on glutamate signaling. And nefiracetam activates CA2 plus calmodulin dependent protein kinase 2, which is critical in memory formation, again dependent on glutamate signaling. Remember, glutamate signaling fires dopamine neurons, which leads to a boost in motivation. Nupept. This peptide derived nootropic related to the racetam family. Nupept 
in, induces uh, brain-derived nootropic factor. It stimulates dopamine, nicotinic, and serotonin receptors, boosting energy, cognition, memory, logical thinking, mood, and motivation. Nupept also boosts alpha and beta brain waves. You become calmer and more creative. It's easier to go into a flow state. And you're more prone to making innovative and resourceful decisions. Oxyracetam. This water-soluble ampicine nootropic is, the, is in the racetam class of compounds that modulates AMPA receptors. Oxyracetam increases acetylcholine and boosts ATP synthesis in brain cells. Oxyracetam significantly improves cognition, memory, sensory perception, reflexes, and motivation. Phenylparacetam. This water-soluble nootropic in the racetam class of compounds is known for its stimulatory effects. It increases the density of acetylcholine, NMDA, GABA, and dopamine receptors in your brain. More receptors mean more binding sites for neurotransmission that affect memory formation, cognition, sleep, mood, and motivation. Similar to NUPEP, Phenylparacetam has been shown in clinical studies to affect alpha and beta brain waves. And like Ritalin or Adderall, this nootropic increases the effectiveness of dopamine in your brain, increasing alertness, decision-making capability, cognition, and motivation. Pyracetam. The first racetam ever developed, this nootropic modulates AM AMPA and NMDA receptors and boosts the flow of acetylcholine, sensitivity and density of acetylcholine receptors in your brain. Paracetam also boosts cerebral blood flow, delivering more oxygen and nutrients to neurons, improving neural signaling, cognition, memory, focus, and motivation. Pramaracetam, a derivative of and more potent than paracetam, Pramaracetam stimulates choline uptake in your brain and has a profound effect on the synthesis of the neurotransmitter acetylcholine, boosting energy levels, providing focused stimulation for better mental drive and motivation. Resveratrol. Resveratrol is a polyphenol that some plants produce in response to stress, such as injury or fungal infection. Recent research shows that this polyphenol works like an ampicine nootropic in your brain. Resveratrol is an inhibitor of the enzyme PDE4. Studies demonstrate that when you inhibit PDE4, you raise levels of C-AMP in your brain. C-AMP dependent pathways in the brain activate uh, AMPK activated protein kinase. Inhibiting PDE4 and boosting C-AMP also makes the effect of normal dopamine more, uh, production more effective. Boosting the processes in this stream of chemical pathways in the brain increases learning, memory, and motivation. Rhodiola rosea. In Russia, rhodiola rosea is widely used as a remedy for fatigue, for poor concentration, and decreased memory. It's also believed to make workers more productive. Now, research shows that rhodiola can increase attention to detail-oriented tasks by improving concentration over a prolonged period. So it's the ideal study nootropic. Rhodiola stimulates your nervous system to help you fight fatigue that stifles memory or mental clarity, and studies show it even saves injured neurons and it encourages the growth and development of brain cells, or neurogenesis. Any kind of fatigue you experience, regardless of source, rhodiola rosea is like your magic bullet. Mood, energy, stamina, concentration, and motivation can all increase with the dose of this herb. Salbutiamine, synthesized in the lab from vitamin B1 or thiamine. Salbutiamine is a favorite of mine, because it boosts memory, motivation, and is a heck of an antidepressant. Thiamine is essential for producing the neurotransmitter acetylcholine. Acetylcholine is used to re relay messages between neurons in your brain and is critical for cognition, learning, memory, and motivation. 
If you've ever felt mentally drained after writing an exam, an intense study session, a misunderstanding with your partner, or working out a business problem, nootropics can help. Energy and motivation go hand in hand. When I'm energized, it usually translates into motivation to get things done. When energy stores are depleted in my brain and body, I'm burned out and nothing much is going to happen. Mental fatigue is a variety of causes. Depleted neurotransmitters can cause fatigue as well as a host of other issues. A lack of adenosine triphosphate, or ATP, which is the energy source for brain cells, is another cause of mental fatigue and leads to neurodegenerative disease. Hormones that are out of balance can cause fatigue and poor cerebral circulation. That's blood circulation in your, in your head, which provides oxygen and nutrients to brain cells can result in fatigue. The amount of available mental energy has a direct influence on cognitive performance. So once you get familiar with how motivation pathways work in your brain, and you have a good grasp on how to fix motivation in your brain from this video, Take a look at an earlier post that I wrote um, that's got a, a section on how to boost energy. And I've got, I'll put a link to it below this video, and I've got a link to it at the bottom of this, the transcript for this video over on Nootropics Expert. So that's my report on hacking motivation with Nootropics. If you want to see the full review of each Nootropic I talked about, including all the racetams, um, in this video, go to Nootropics Expert and click on the blog tab in the menu bar and scroll down to the post on Hacking Motivation with Nootropics. Or click on the link below this video. There you'll find a full transcript of this video and you'll find dozens of articles on all the well-known nootropics on Nootropics Expert. If you have any questions or you want to share your experience hacking motivation with Nootropics, use the comment section at the bottom of the post on Nootropics Expert. I respond to comments and questions at Nootropics Expert usually the same day. And if you want to see more videos on all the best Nootropics used today, subscribe to this channel before you leave. I'll be putting up new videos on Nootropics and optimizing your brain every week. I'm David Toman, author of Nootropics Expert.